Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix when your file explorer is not responding in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit or problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about a problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart the file explorer. For this, access the task manager by pressing the shift press ctrl plus escape key or alternatively you can also right click on your taskbar and select task manager from there. After that in the task manager window navigate to the processes tab and select windows explorer. Then right click on it and just simply select the restart option. Number 2. Clear the file explorer history. For this open the file explorer application. After that click on the three horizontal dots in the toolbar at the top then select options from the menu. Then from there select the general tab and click on the clear button under privacy to clear the history. Then just simply click on apply and then ok to save the changes. Number 3. Create a new user account. For this, press window plus i to open the settings app. Then after that, go to accounts and select family and other users. And under other users, click add someone else to this PC option. Number 4. Run system file checkers, SFC and DISN. For this, search for command prompt, right click the top results and select the run as administrator option. Then type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. The command is sfc slash scan now. And after that, be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. After that, open start and again open command prompt in the administrator option. Then type the following commands to again perform a quick fix on your PC. The DISN commands are used for scanning your PC and automatically installing broken or missing window files on your PC. Number 5. Use command prompt. For this, again open command prompt in the administrator option and press enter after entering this command. And this command will terminate the processes of explorer.exe. The screen that appears behind the command prompt window is blank. Note, enter start explorer.exe into the windows and hit enter to restart the explorer.exe process. Number 6. Change your display settings. For this, right click on windows icon and select system option from there. Next, select display from the right hand side menu. Then scroll down and open the display resolution settings. Now, click the drop down menu and then choose a higher or lower resolution that's best for your display. Number 7. Check for Windows Updates. For this, press Window plus I key to open the Windows Settings. And from there, click on Update and Security option. And in the Update and Security window, click on Windows Update in the left hand side menu. After that, click on Check for Updates and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, just simply restart the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. Number 8. Perform a system restore. For this, type create a restore point in the window search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. Then it will prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will automatically display a recommended date for restoration. Then after that, click finish to complete the process. Note, the finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 9. Disable antivirus and firewall temporarily. Sometimes antivirus or firewall software can interfere with the file explorer and cause it to become unresponsive. To determine if this is the issue, temporarily disable your antivirus and firewall software and check if the function is working correctly or not. Number 10. Check for malware and viruses. For this, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar. After that, in the Windows Security window, click on Virus and Threat Protection. After that, under Current Threats, click on Quick Scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose Full Scan. After that, just simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the scan. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.